Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing some more Verizon testing. Um, it is now 2.41 p.m. You know, school is out. They're on break, so there's a lot more people home. So I'll be doing this testing in a busy housing area in my neighborhood. And, you know, just, you know, <clears throat> want to see what speeds I get there. I'm going to also test different servers, you know, to see different pings. And um, compared to other cities that I've seen, pings are still fairly high here. 70s is still pretty good, but I've seen them in the low 20s, low 30s. Somebody told me that it might be, you know, the, the phone. But I've tested Verizon units, uh, you know, in several stores, and they give me the same similar ping. So we're going to go ahead and get this test uh, started. Also check the signal strength. Um, so you can see how dense uh, the Ryzen is. Like I said, these are housing areas, so I'm expecting it to be uh, very busy. People, you know, people are on vacation. Kids are home from school. So definitely uh, looking into that. The first test is uh, really good. I think, um, and this is just me, I think Verizon is backhaul. Uh, you know, has some uh, strengths on the back hall here in El Paso. It seems like that I can't get anything higher than 70, which with carry aggregation of band 13 and band 4, you know, I should be able to get higher than 70. So I think there's some issues with back hall that they need additional back hall to these uh, macro sites, which 70 is, you know, more than enough, but I'm just saying that it could go faster. And all these speeds that you're seeing and, and the signal strength, I mean, this is just pure density on macro sites. They're, they're normal cell sites. They have, uh, they have already been dense in this market. I, I spoke with uh, Verizon's uh, market manager, uh, Rick Carlos, and they have already been dense in El Paso with the macro sites. They felt like, you know, they positioned them in the, in the proper way as far as tower spacing. The new sites that are now going up are additional sites to make it even more dense. So, speeds are ridiculous. You know, in most areas, as you can see, I don't get I don't get any slow speeds. In in some areas, I do slow down a bit, but in most areas, as you can see, um, and this is like I said, a very busy housing area. A lot of new homes popping up. Uh, also, there's a couple of uh, industrial companies out here, truck companies, so a lot of business, but the towers, the additional towers make up for it. And then, you know, there's another one going live that's not live yet, but the end of January should be live. So it's definitely great to see what Verizon is doing in this market. And this is also, they haven't added any band five or band two and they haven't added any of the additional technologies that T-Mobile's adding, you know, the 4x4 MIMO, the 256 qualms, cell splits, you know, none of that. No small cells. This is just pure cell grid that Verizon is working off of. So that is just, you know, very, very impressive. I mean, you know, there was a, a, a report that was released today that will be very interesting in which I'm going to follow up on that Sprint is now on par with uh, all other carriers in Phoenix, Arizona as far as speeds. They're averaging 11.3 megabits down on a download. So next month when they activate the third carrier aggregation, they should improve and get and they might be able to become the fastest carrier in that market. So I'm going to definitely keep you uh, updated on that, you know, exciting times. But, you know, if 
if Verizon can mimic this type of sell grid in other markets, I mean, it, they will be impossible to stop, especially with their with their money, the you know the, the capex spending. They're going to be ridiculous in the near future. And as you can see, I'm you know I'm not editing any of this. This is a live uh, screenshot of me doing speed tests. And as you can see, I mean, consistency is ridiculous. I mean, I haven't seen anything slower than, you know, 30 or 25. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. I have some more indoor testing coming up as well. You know, one day at a time, it'll all come out. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to the channel you know like share and subscribe give these videos a thumbs up uh, I have another video coming up for you guys that I wanted to get a little bit more personal with you on uh, you know what's going on with that whole YouTube broken situation so stay tuned for that you know give these videos a thumbs up once again you know it keeps me motivated keeps me going and um, this is Tom with Tech Life and I will see you guys in the next video peace